you know that I made a lot of ROM videos on this channel. So this is the time for another ROM video after a long time. It is called a SIVO SP, so which stands for Clean Open Source Project. So I have installed it on my Pocophone F1 or Poco F1. Hey guys, my name is Case Karayo. Let's roll the intro. Anyway, before going into the main parts of the video, I wanted to give a brief overview of Sivo SP. Sivo SP is a clean open source project which meant to provide a stability, better performance and pixel-like experience for your specific Android device. Now let me quickly show you the ROM details by going into the settings about phone. Now you can see the logo of Sivo SP and it is based on Android 9.0 Pi. The ROM actually runs on the latest security patch level by the time of recording this video and currently it is in extent for many Android devices. So if you want to install it on your specific droid, well head over to their official website and download the ROM for your device. And also please be make sure that this is a custom ROM, so which means in order to install it on your device, you need to follow these prerequisites. Make sure your device is having an unlocked bootloader, a latest TWRP custom recovery has installed. So then download these files and place it on your SD card or internal storage. A vendor and firmware file is required for some devices, example Poco F1, and for more information about your specific droid just go ahead and refer to the XDA then boot into the TWRP recovery then wipe system data cache and then flash the vendor and firmware file first then the Google applications as well as ROM you can flash it at the same time so that's it now after that you will be successfully enjoying this ROM now that being said and moving on to the features when it comes to features, this ROM provides some minimalistic features for a smoother experience. One of the biggest assets of this ROM is the dark mode which works system wide. You can enable the dark mode from settings, display, device theme and here you can choose the option called a dark option. So once you have done that, you can see the entire system UI adopts the dark mode. The notifications are also turned into a dark, which actually looks amazing and it is really useful during night times. This ROM also lets you change the accent colors. Simply head over to display, choose a colored theme, and here you will see some ready-made colors are available. So simply choose any color you fancy and apply it. You can see it works right away. Also, you can find an option to hide the notch inside a display setting. Simply choose a notch behavior and then click on hidden option. So in a moment, you will see the notch space is blacked out and this provides a more space for notification badges on the status bar. Like Resurrection Remix, this ROM also provides us some advanced features which helps to customize your Android phone to the next level. There are a lot of options available inside SEOSP settings. For instance, you can change the layout of the navigation bar and you can also invert the layout which is a quite handy. And for those who love gestures, well, you can find it under the gesture setting. Here you will find AOSP gestures which simply replaces the traditional and navbar layout to a pill. For advanced gestures, uh, you can choose a, a navigation gestures, uh, simply enable this option. Then go back to the main uh, COSP settings and here you need to disable the navigation bar. Now once you have done that, now you have successfully enabled the navigation gesture. So now let's see how it works. For example, to go back to the home screen as simply a swiper from the center, just like that, you can see it's super fast. And uh, to view the a recent app switcher as swiper from the center and hold it for a second to jump into the recent menu. And to go back to the one step back so you can either a swipe up from the bottom left or bottom right so while using these gestures you can get a haptic feedback so overall i would say uh, these navigation gestures work super fine without any issues and these are the, some of the features which i really like the most about this rom and a part of the ui features and normal things like wi-fi bluetooth and wi-fi hotspot lte lte fingerprints a face unlock does work fine without any issues and sadly out of the box you cannot use upi based applications like phone pay or Google pay now that being said and moving on to the performance I would say like other ROMs this ROM provides a better smooth experience all of the applications and games opens up super fast there is a no lag or stutter you may face at all and I have played a big games like Asphalt and Legends and the gameplay was super impressive as you can see I have screen recorded the gameplay in ultra high quality and I still don't see any lag or frame drops now when it comes to a PUBG you won't face any frame drops 
either, even playing at HDR mode. Now, I would say this ROM handles a big games without any hiccups. Overall, I would say the performance is super aggressive and better smooth when it comes to normal applications or games, and definitely it will stand out in my top 5 list. As usual, like other ROMs, I ran a benchmark applications like Geekbench and Intuitu, and these are the scores which I got on my Pocophone F1. Finally, when it comes to battery life, I would say it's good. I get a 6 plus hours of screen on time usage. I normally use my phone for GPS navigation, listening to music, and watching Netflix. So the bottom line of the video, definitely this is another ROM that you could try out for sure. And of course, you can use it as your daily driver without any hesitation. So if in case I have missed anything, you can ask me in the comments down below. And that's it guys. This is the first look of CYSP ROM. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified. So thanks for watching. This is KSKRL. Peace.